one. So today I have a Acer laptop which is not starting up. Basically what it does, once the charging lead is connected, it shows that the battery is charging and if you click the power on button, it's not starting. It does show the blue LED light on the side, but nothing else is happening. I can show you. So basically, if I'm going to connect, connect the charger in, just make sure you can see it. You can see we have orange light, yeah? Okay, and if I open the unit, if I click the power on button, the blue light comes up and switches off. Comes up and switches off. So it's not starting up. So what I'm gonna do now, I will start investigating why is it not starting up, what is the problem, and hopefully I will be able to fix it. So let's start. Let's start by removing the bottom cover first. Okay, so let's open this up. I will try to pray from this end. See how easily it's opening up. Okay, so what we're gonna find inside? Anything dodgy here? Nope. Okay. So first thing first before doing anything, disconnect the battery. As I'm always saying, disconnect the battery. Okay, so why is it not starting up? So basically what I need to test, I need to test the board itself. I don't need any drives to be plugged in. I, perhaps I can leave the memory plugged in. So okay, so okay. I don't need the Wi-Fi, maybe this one is causing the problem. So we'll take off the Wi-Fi now. Basically, let's disconnect the drives first because I don't want them to be here affected. Okay. So this is where the SSD drive sits. You can see there is another one SSD here, so perhaps this one is upgraded. Because originally I don't think it's coming with a crucial SSD drive inside. So okay, disconnect the battery. Okay, so mm -hmm. I will take off the heatsink as well. Because I want to have access to the actual board. I will disconnect the power. DC port, then I'm going to disconnect the fans so we can have access to take this off. Okay, now let, let's take the heatsink off. What I'm thinking, it might be a has a blowing cap, it might be liquid damaged. It might be graphics card faulty, it might be any MOSFET which is faulty, it might be anything. Okay. Okay, let's take the heatsink off. 
So we have the heatsink off. It's a little bit dusty, but everything is normal. Okay, do you see anything what might be wrong here? Nope, I can't see anything. It looks like all solid here. So, I will take off the Wi-Fi card as well because this is covering the main board itself. Okay, so now I will plug in the DC port back in. So the battery is unplugged. So what I'm trying to do, I don't have SSD drive connected, I don't have another one SSD connected. I remove the heatsink, remove the Wi-Fi card and the battery is disconnected. So also, this is a keyboard backlight, okay, I will disconnect the keyboard backlight. This is a keyboard, so I have to leave the keyboard because basically the keyboard has an on-off switch. I don't need, I think this is a trackpad. And I don't need, need this one, I think this is something to do here, whichever is there, I don't care. I will disconnect this one, I can leave, basically I can disconnect speakers. I can leave the BIOS battery plugged in. On the other side here I will leave this one in because I want to see the progress, what we are doing, because this is showing if the board is staying on or no. So let's try plug back in the charger and let's try to power it on and see what's gonna happen now we have the blue light and it's off let's try again we have the blue light and it's off okay Basically, removing the Wi-Fi card is not doing anything. Disconnecting trackpad, keyboard backlight, another one, which bit is here. I don't know, maybe IR sensor or something. I don't know. I need to check, but I don't care about it completely. And it's not starting up. So what I'm gonna do now? I will check with a thermal cam if I can see any heat from the top so if I can spot any components that's overheating it's getting short or anything else and we'll go from there okay okay so now I will check everything with a thermal cam to see if I can see anything what might be wrong so let's let's put in the power cable in and let's start investigating if we can spot anything wrong with this board so okay let's go for all of it I just plug in the power to the board and that's it I didn't try to switch it on so just to want to make sure there is nothing straight away heating up Okay, so far everything's look good. So now I will try to fire this up. Let's see if I can have an access. Okay. There is the power button here. It is okay. I click the power button on. You can see there is a blue light on the side. And what we got? The blue light is gone. So somewhere here. Okay, this one. Okay, this chip is trying to heat up and switches off. I don't think this is on short because it's trying to start. Might be on short. So I will start the power again. I'm trying to see if I can spot anything else. Starting the power. Nothing's happening. Starting the power. What's this? You saw something here? 
starting the power. Oh, blink. What's here? Okay. Again. Okay. Looks like this one is on short. Let's try to press it again. It's not showing me anything, and again, nothing. We'll unplug the power. I need to change this only on thermal. Let's plug in the power back in. Okay, let's start it. You see. That's a bad boy. Okay, disconnect the power. Let's connect it back. Let's start it up. Oh, you see how hot it is? Yes, so the problem looks like it's there. So in order for me to check further, I need maybe to take off the board and see what I can find. But let's check that component first. Let's see what's there. Okay, so now, as you can see, this is the component which was heating up. Okay, so now let's see what it has to do so that's the component is down here we have a cpu gpu we have the memory and that's the component which is getting hot okay so okay this is plus three volts for the lan okay this is ground there is no contact this is lan power enable and this is three volts as well okay so now let's check what we are getting on here, what we're getting on here, and what we're getting on here. Okay, let's check these things. Let's put on the diet mode and let's have a look. So, as I said, I'm gonna start it from. So, as I said, I will start it from here. Okay, we're getting short circuit down here. So this is the free walls. This one is enable. Okay, this is not a short and this is a free walls as well. This is not on short. This should be ground. It is ground. But this is on short, which shouldn't be ground. So is there a problem with this chip or no? So I'm not sure. So what I want to do now I want to take off the board out and see if I, if I can see anything on the other side of the board, okay? Okay, so let's take out the board. So we can take the memory out. I will take the battery out. screws anyone's holding it no one's holding it okay I have to disconnect the BIOS battery now I'll disconnect the DC port I have to disconnect this flex here. I need to disconnect the keyboard. It's a weird keyboard flex. Why are they not making it properly? So it's like the keyboard comes with a flex. 
going to the board and then there's another one flex which is connecting to the board it's like an extension because anyway I will disconnect the screen okay now to take off the board I need to take off one screw two I believe three screws let's have a look let's take this one out one two and that's the third one okay this one's loose I think we have everything now we have another one screw which is holding down here in the corner so we have four screws okay so we have the board out oh oh no you look at that you can see a corrosion now let's put this on the side yes i can see corrosion marks that's not good okay let's see well let's disconnect this flex cable and let's clean the thermal paste because you're gonna mess up everything here in my place okay the flex cable is out let's clean the thermal paste Just so they won't make my table dirty. Otherwise, whenever I'm gonna touch, everything is gonna be dirty. So, okay, let's have a look at the board itself. So, I'm aware about this side that we have a faulty part which is. Maybe it's not, it's not faulty, but it's on short. This one, oh, look at that splodger. Maybe it's not faulty, but definitely this one leg is on short, okay? Okay, I can't see anything on this side. Now let's start investigating the other side. All looks fine here, let's go up. Okay, oh, okay, we have some dodgy stuff here, let's go, up. Oh, okay, I can see something's not right here, oh, what a mess, look what a mess is here, okay, so this is board is affected by corrosions in many parts, okay, let's have a look. the schematics this one is going if this one is on short means this chip is on short as well as you can see this one is connecting there so it's shorting this chip now I see what's on the other side of the board okay we can see we have some caps on the other side of the board and this is going to I'm gonna check side and this is going I think that's the other side of the board down here okay I think that's where the problem is problem is here okay that is why the board is on short circuit and not starting up so what i'm gonna do now i have to replace those faulty components okay so in order to replace them i need to replace them <laughs> that's a good saying in order to replace them i need to replace them first 
do some cleaning to see what we're gonna see here. So I bet this is all fully on short. Okay, let's check it. What's happening here? So this one's on short. So and this one's short. So which one is which one? We need to check schematics. Which one is which one? So this is ground. This is not ground. Okay, so now we know that here is a ground and here is not a ground, okay? So the short is here. It might be this one or this one is faulty. Look at this one, look at that one. Okay, go away. Go away. Do we have short here? No, we don't have short here, but we'll need to put the cap in. That's the cap. Let's move this cap out of the way. Come here. Okay, so now I will start working here. Okay. And I will start removing basically everything from here I will take two caps and will take these resistors out of here Okay, so what are the parts that we need? What are the parts that we need? Okay, let's start with this. And this one. And who you are? Where you are? Where and who you are. Come on. Show me the exact location. What do you want to do? Why? Or 
and this one, I want to see the exact location. CL22. Here it is. Next. What do we need next? Next, next, next. We need this one. Now, what's this? Okay, so let's put the caps first in place and then we will put resistors, okay? So let's do little by little. and let's fit them in. properly solder it it might be that the board gonna start but knowing that there are so many other places that are affected I don't want even to try to start it okay so first I will try to fix most things I can and then I will test the board because now if I'm going to test the board it might be everything is going to start working but knowing it's corroded it may blow up something else on a different end and this is going to 
take even more my time to try to investigate else what happened now and what should I do so I will crack on and I will start replacing other bad boys on this board let's keep on going so now I will replace whatever is here okay let's have a look at our schematics to find out what's here it looks like we need to replace only this one and this one okay so this one is the cap and the other one is a resistor we have plenty of info about the resistor not that much huh here it is so it's 0402 again. We have a 10k resistor ready. And we can crack on replacing it. First let's clean this mess a little bit. So I want to see what's happening here. I would say I don't need to replace that resistor. It looks fairly good for me, but I will replace it anyway.
Okay, we're done here. You can see, okay, I can see something here. Doesn't look nice at all. So I will replace those two components. I think this one, I'm not sure if you can see it, but this cap looks like broken. Some kind of corrosion mark, corrosion stuff. Let me check if this is on short or not on short. I believe it's on short. That's short. That's a short, you see? So if I'm gonna check that here, you're not seeing it, okay. Because this, I can't touch it properly here because it's no good contact, same here because they're both rotten, but this track is going here, if I touch it here, you see it's a short, I believe this is a ground, this is a short, but I need to double check this on schematics. Let's get back to schematics, so okay, we are... I need to track and trace, I think something's close to this one, and then we're going up, up, up. Then going straight up, up, up. How come? Somewhere here. Yes, this one and this one. So we need to replace this one and this one. Whoever you are, show me now. Okay, you're gonna be 100 P 0201. 0201. And the other one is. It's going that way. Gonna be one infrared. No, it's not going that way. It's not 0201. That's not right. This is definitely not 0201. The schematics is wrong here. The size, if you check on schematics, look. That's 0201. That's definitely not 0201. Oh, but this is CD24. What do you look? What I'm looking at? It's not what I'm looking. Why are you giving me this option first? It's not that. No. Well, this is not accurate. That's the one. O four or two. Okay, double check this one. I picked up the wrong component. Yeah, that's correct. I took it correct. That's confusing. Why you should give me the first option, not the the one which is exactly the name? Why you give me the option which is the full name as it should be? So okay. So let's take them out now. Let's take them out.
charger. The charger and the DC port. That's all I need to test it. Okay? So let's see what happens now. Plug in this one in. No fireworks, no. We lift the board up. A little bit more. And we'll try to press the power button. You can see we have a blue light. And the blue light does stay on. Okay, I will disconnect it. Looks like the blue light stays on. So now I'm going to connect the screen. the screen and I will put maybe one memory stick or maybe two of them I will open the lid I will plug in the charger and I will hit the power on button I have the blue light will we gonna get anything on the screen The blue light is still on, but it might take some time for the Acer to start up. The blue light is off and on again. I didn't connect the BIOS battery, maybe I need to connect the BIOS battery. But let's wait, let's give some time. The blue light is off and on again. Off, on. Hey, look, here we go. So, back to the game. So, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean the board with ultrasonic cleaner. After I'm gonna clean it with the cleaner, I will assemble it back. If everything is fine, have
you can see ASR logo, it's loading to the OS. That's it. Well, as you can see, the laptop is in front of me. It's up and running again. Everything is working fine. And yes, if you find this video helpful for you, and if you find any hints or tips that was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe my video. And yes, thank you very much for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.